A good guru is one who doesn't teach you anything. Even if you meet a very bad one, you will learn a lot. If people come to me thirsty, I don't give them water. If you disbelieve me, you will have a negative story to tell, either to believe or disbelieve, whatever I say or do. For a good student, a good student will not look for a good guru because <laughs> if you are a good student, you learn from everything. You're not looking for a good guru. Even if you meet a very bad one, you will learn a lot from that. How you should not be, that is also important <laughs> In a way, this is what happened to me. When my longing came, I looked. I met so many people who claimed to be gurus, but the only thing I learned from them was how a guru should not be <laughs> And that's not… that's not a small thing to learn. Yes, it's a very big thing. It's a very big thing. Like as a director, I always tell my technicians what not to do. I never tell them what to do <laughs> So, uh, for a good student there is no problem, wherever he goes he will learn. Whatever he meets he will learn. A good guru is one who doesn't teach you anything but makes you so thirsty you can't help learning. If people come to me thirsty, I don't give them water, I put salt in their mouth. Yes. They get so thirsty, they got to find it. Because if you show them something which is not yet in their experience, the only choice that somebody has is either to believe what you say or disbelieve what you say. If you believe, you do not get any closer to reality. If you disbelieve, you will not get any closer to reality. It is just that if you believe me, you will have a positive story to tell. If you disbelieve me, you will have a negative story to tell, but you will not be an inch closer to reality. Above all, I think putting people into this kind of a dilemma, either to believe or disbelieve, whatever I say or do, I think it's obscene. You should not put people into such a situation. So, my work is mainly, you are a seeker, but not intense enough. So my work is to make you so intense that it cannot be denied to you. Because truth is not hiding you are hiding from it. Truth is not hiding. Truth is obvious everywhere in the universe. You are hiding from it because the intensity of seeking has not happened. If seeking becomes intense enough, knowing is not far away because what you're seeking is not sitting on Mount Everest, it's within you. So how long does it take? What is within you if it takes a lifetime? Of course, you are on a con job, isn't it? Yes or no? It was sitting on Mount Everest, you could not climb. That's understandable. Maybe you don't have the legs and the lungs to get to the top of the mountain. But what is within you if you don't find? Obviously, you are on a con job or no? So to get you out of this <laughs> deception, is all my work is, my work is not to dispense truth, who am I to do that? <laughs>